Hey, welcome back campus. It's Space Week here at your summer camp, preparing you young leaders for tomorrow. And we want to say to you, believe in yourself as we prepare for outer space. Can anybody tell me, just a literature question, in the fictional movie, in Tale of the Fantastic Four, where did they get their powers from? If you know that, hit it in the chat. And also, we know about these guys, Transformers. They came from outer space to help us solve some problems here on Earth. I wish they can pop up to help solve this coronavirus problem, but until that time, we need to work on math. Math, Florida standards. We're going to talk about equations and expressions, properties, and we're going to specifically relate to the use of properties in writing expressions. And what is an expression? It's important that we understand some of these terms. An expression is a math sentence with a math operation inside of that sentence. What are some of the math operations that you, you do know? Well, we have addition, and the brother to addition is multiplication. We have subtraction and the brother two subtraction is division. Why do I say that? Because I want to give you a simple example how math is follows a pattern. What's two plus two? Four. What's two times two? Four. Hmm. What's four minus two? Two. What's four divided by two? Two. Simple pattern. Math is all about a pattern. When you understand that math is about a pattern, you do not need to guess. Another little thing I want to share with you that the reason why some kids struggle in math, because someone in your family told you that they were bad at math. For example, if your mom or dad said, oh, I'm not good at math, <clears throat> you, think <it's clears throat> you think it's genetics. You think, well, my mom or dad is not good at math, maybe I shouldn't be good at math. Everybody can be good at math. It just requires you to put, take this pattern and practice. That old saying that practice makes perfect? No, perfect practice makes perfect. So when you put forth that believe in yourself attitude, <clears throat> you can even teach those people who say they're not good at math to be good at math. So math, when they see the term expression, math is a sentence, just like you read a sentence with a math operation inside. We already went over the different types of math operations <clears throat> that exist. We also want to know what they mean by like exponents. Exponents are numbers whenever you multiply them by itself. So it's like writing a different way of writing a multiplication problem. Instead of writing four times four, which is what? How many fours are there? We can just write four to the second power, which means we're multiplying four by itself twice. So that would be writing a math problem, writing a number as an exponent. And then we also have what are equations? Two math expressions that are equal. We talked about that regarding uh, ratios in one of the other videos. So those are all things we need to take into consideration when we think about use of math properties. And other properties related to math is commutative. And this term really means that when you say something, you can say it a different way and it means actually the same, or you can write it in a different way. So for example, A plus B is equal to saying B plus A. So if this was saying like two plus three is equal to three plus two. Then change it, we just restate it. The word here, commute, means to move or to, to transfer a shift. Then we have associative, association. That means they're related. And how this is written out is X is on the outside of the parentheses and inside is Y and this little dot or X or asterisk means multiply. Y and times Z is being multiplied here, but it's X because it's parentheses means to multiply. So that math operation here is multiplication. So it's equal to exactly the same, taking the Z and putting it outside and putting no X on the inside and multiply. These things mean the same, won't change. So whatever number we put in there, the math operation stays the same. We're gonna get basically the same answer. So we're gonna, we're gonna practice some of those. And then the other one is distributive property, where you have like A. So if this number was three, A was equal to three, and B was two, and C was four, we'll take, we're basically taking three, multiplying by two, and taking three, multiplying it by four, and we'll get the same answer because we're distributing the three to the two, and distributing the three to the four with this math operation right here. The math operation, when the number is outside of parentheses, the math operation is multiplication. So when we talk about this particular standard, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into IXL, you're gonna work on expressions on the R13 regarding expressions in IXL. This is where you're gonna work on driving up that SMART score to get that 80% or higher. If you're a 100%er, superhero, 
you, were you shooting to be out of space like the Transformers and the Fantastic Four? Shoot for that 100%. So as we wrap up this session, believe in yourself. As we close out, equations and expressions 1.1, properties, expressions and equations, how to write them, how to read them, and how to see how they restate themselves as an expression. Look forward to seeing you when you start doing the lesson. Believe in yourself and take care.